Hi, my name is Josh and I'm the co-founder of Sight. I'm also a cell biologist by training. Today, I wanna to walk you through how Sight can help you better discover, understand, and evaluate research. Say you've just come to this article published in Nature in 2010, you might look at a few things, right? Where is it published? Who are the authors? What are their affiliations? And then some metrics. Maybe you're on your way downloading the PDF and reading. If, however, you click through to look at, you know, what is the literature saying about this? You might come to a, a citation index that will show you the list of citing articles, whether that's Scopus, whether that's Web of Science, or whether that's publisher produced. In these lists, we are treating citations as if they're all the same and as if they're flat. Uh, and that is not right, right? There are many different ways and reasons to cite an article. Maybe this one cites in the introduction section. Maybe this one cites in the method section. Maybe this one is presenting supporting evidence to the claim. Maybe this one is challenging it and directly refuting the claim. And so with Cite, we want to make this information easy to digest and to understand so that you don't have to necessarily open 675 different documents, but you can get that insight in a very digestible and easy to use format. And so if you look at this article through the lens of Cite, what you'll see is that we have basically the same metadata as the version of record. So the title, the author is the abstract. And then we do have a list of citing documents, but then unique to cite, what we do is go into the full text and extract out the exact citation statements where that article is being cited, right? And so here's an article that cites it in four different places, two times in the results section, two times in the introduction section. And here is exactly how it's cited, right? So this little excerpt comes from the results section and they're saying, in agreement with early reports, they cite the article of interest. They also cite this co-citation, so a related article, where they're agreeing with it, right? We observed around 37% slower multiple turnover degradation, which they say is in agreement with early reports. This, the context, the where we've got the, that context from, and then that classification is collectively what we call a smart citation. We've extracted 1.3 billion smart citations from every open access article and then from the majority of subscription-based articles that allow you to quickly and easily see how any article's been cited, how any researcher's been cited, or how any topic's been cited. And so say you're interested in USP 14 degradation and you're not interested in this article that you found, but you wanna quickly see how it's been discussed in the literature. If you run a quick keyword-based search, you then get to see uh, exactly how and why uh, this, this has been discussed, right? So here is USP 14, here is how it's being discussed in the literature. This is saving you time, showing you exactly how your topic of interest has been discussed before having to open the full article. Um, and then it also gives you a variety of different ways. So who's working on this? Uh, where is it being published? Where is the work being done? Which affiliations? And then if you want, you can start to filter and say, I want to see only highly supported studies, or I want to see where there's debates happening to find you know, potential research gaps. And so for five years, we've built this powerful system that helps you search, discover, and understand the literature. In comes ChatGPT, that is very easy to use, very powerful, uh, but very hard to trust, right? And so ChatGPT allows you to ask a question like this, how many rats live in NYC? What it doesn't give you is a real source that you can verify against. So we have launched Site Assistant. Site Assistant allows you to ask this question. It develops a search strategy. So here are the searches being run on site. This is going into our unique access of the scholarly articles and allowing uh, the, the, the literature to provide these as sources, not just the, all of the web. It then gives you this response um, and it fact checks it. So how many rats live in NYC? The rat population in NYC is estimated be, to be between two to eight million animals, which you can hover over here and then quickly see, okay, this is what the article or the preprint in this case says. You can also see how that has been cited. And so together, Cite represents a very powerful way to look at how any article has been cited, how any research has been cited, how any topics has been cited. You can look at that at the organizational level. You can look at that at the journal level. You can also run a very powerful search that allows you to see within the article before having to open or buy the full text article. And then you can utilize the most advanced LLMs in a way that is trustworthy, that is uh, allowing you to take the best of, of you know, peer reviewed literature, data, evidence, analyses, and statistics, and then the best in, uh, of, of LLMs, that flexibility uh, and that, that really easy way to help you get started. So thanks for listening. We hope you'll try out Site. You can go to site.ai um, to better discover, understand, and utilize uh, the literature. Thanks.